All right. Let's get right into it. So this is number two. If you want to catch issue number one, it's on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Back issues. Let's get right into it. Sorry, my rabbit was doing something. All right. <laughs> Swap cards with everyone in the human race, and some who aren't. I have like two of these sets of this, of this, these cards. I got like two sets, two complete sets. Yes. You never know what spellbinding, astounding character you'll find lurking in the all-new Series 2 Marvel Universe trading cards. Exciting graphics, incredible new power ratings. Each card an original work of art. Superheroes, supervillains, and incredible weapons. Rookie cards, arch enemies, legends, team cards. 162 cards in all. And mysterious, fantastic, limited edition bonus hologram cards. Each brand new from the fabulous world of Marvel Universe. Bet you never imagined you'd be swapping cards with Spider-Man, the Incredible Hulk, Wolverine, X-Men, and all their friends and enemies. Get your hands on them now wherever trading cards are sold. Those are great cards. I loved collecting them. Me and my friends. Yeah. Those are fun collecting. Maybe I'll show and tell them someday. All is right in the heavens for Thanos possess for Thanos possesses the six infinity gems. The universe will now be be set right made over to fit my unique view of what should be. Let nihilism reign supreme. <laughs> Stanley presents the Infinity Gauntlet. Got, I got the Infinity Gauntlet right over here. I'm serious. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> All right. From bad to worse. Flight 807 was circling for clearance to land when the great disappearance struck. It took out both the pilot and co-pilot. The jet finally ran out of fuel and augured in onto Fifth Avenue. A pretty clean hit, really. Those passengers were lucky the Avengers were on hand to help out. And luckier still that Thor was passing by. But we can't be everywhere, and the whole world's currently one big emergency. Just hang in there, folks! We're coming! I have a seriously injured woman in first class. It's too much, Fizz. Not even the Avengers can handle what's coming down. But we must try, She-Hulk. We cannot surrender to despair. When the first reports of the Great Disappearance come in, I'm in my office at Vaughn Security Systems wondering what I can do to help. Figure Epoch might have some answers. But before I can ask him, Join us, my champion. Epoch? Who's that in there with you? One who has made clear to me just how perilous this universe's current situation is. And so, the Cosmic Guardian Quasar must now undertake a new mission! 
We have an astral rendezvous to arrange. Compared to Battletoads, turtles seem like pawn scum. Dude, if you're ready for a game that totally kicks butt, but get Battletoads with 12 leaping levels of fierce fighting and radical racing for one or two players. Ship's log, Captain DAC SEA porting. Bolton's continue to flood in from all over the Kree Empire. Half of our people have mysteriously disappeared. There can be no doubt who is responsible for this outrage. This tragedy reeks of scrawled treachery. The entire fleet has been put on red alert status. We go to join the Armada. The war to end all war begins. Glory to the Kree Empire! If you're not playing with a full deck, discover our new fantasy collector cards. You ask for it, and here they are. TSR unveils the perfect addition to your Advanced Dungeons and Dragons game. Fantasy game cards. Perfect for using in your game. The cards picture the men, women, creatures, and magical items of your favorite Advanced Dungeons and Dragons adventure worlds. The back is ready to use information about these characters, creatures, and magic items. Perfect for collecting. A limited number of each card will be printed. In addition to the 720 cards in the first set, a secret quantity of limited edition cards are also being distributed. Dis distributed. So start your collection today. The cards come in 16 to a foil pack, and they cost about a dollar. Look for them everywhere. Games, books, and comics are sold. The condition of my unexpected house guests was such that I thought it prudent to seek an outside consultation on the matter. Fortunately, Dr. Henry Pym happened to be in town. The surfer seems to be regaining his strength just by lying in the sun. With his alien psychology, it was the best remedy I could come up with. Physiology, sorry. His alien physiology. It was the best remedy I could come up with. Well, it appears to be working. I must be going Steve. now, Stephen. I should be with the West Coast Avengers, what with the great disappearance going down. I'll brief them on what you've told me. You best contact the original Avengers directly. Of... Of course. Of... Course. Master, is something wrong? Master? Speak to me. Doctor Strange, can you hear me? Yes. Though I've never been before, before, uh, before been contacted quite in this manner. Who are you? One who may be able to save your reality from the insanity that is Thanos. But I cannot do it alone. The only hope your universe has is the banding of all champions of righteousness under one leader. I must be that leader. I doubt Earth's defenders will blindly follow someone who just popped up out of nowhere. Then your first task is to convince them otherwise. You are a stranger to me, creature. One I myself see no reason to trust. You know who it is, guys? I know who it is. Marvel t-shirts. There is a method by which that obstacle to progress can be overcome. I could open my soul to you, but in doing so, your soul would be barred to me, bared to me. It's not an experience I would normally opt for, but the danger that confronts us is too great. I must take the risk. 
Be warned, though. If I sense any treachery, you shall learn to your dismay why I am known as the master of the mystic arts. So be it. A melding of souls. Get off! I didn't realize the things you've seen are so clear to me now. Master, with whom do you speak? You now have my complete trust. I will aid you in any way I can. My instruments... My instruments indicate that the force responsible for the great disappearance originated on the far side of the galaxy. I have never before encountered such powerful readings. Yet I am picking up similar emanations from a small town in upstate New York. Hotter still. These transmissions are being directed to the home of Dr. Stephen Strange. What is the connection? This is a question I must have answered. For this is my universe. These are my people disappearing. And no one should dare temper with the belongings with what belongs to Dr. Doom. Plus, there is the fact that a great disaster of this magnitude also presents a curious intellect with great opportunity. A chance to expand on my scientific knowledge and personal power. Things going bad on Titan. Destroyer not sure what happening. Old man mentor goes bye bye and then. Subspace transmissions indicate that this mass disappearance is a universal phenomenon. Half the ga galaxy's population blinked out of existence. A lot of dead people. Horrible. I'm not sure how he did this, but I'm positive this is. My brother Thanos is doing. If I could. Eros? Eros! First mentor disappears, now Eros vanishes. What next? Huh? Don't Firehead mean? Who's next? I've been in many a difficult situation in my life, but I know the very moment I open my eyes that this is a whole new cosmic level of trouble. I immediately recognize the legendary infinity gems my brother wears as the source of his newfound might. And if that weren't bad enough, a few feet away st stands powerful Mephisto, the devil, you say? Yes, sir. I'm into it up to my ears this time. Sorry, I need a drink, guys. <sighs> and there is the Mistress Death, a regal sight I'd hoped never to see. It takes me a while to realize who... The heck is who the stumbling wreck wandering about is? Thanos' granddaughter, Nebula. She's a real mess. Tis a family reunion, my dear brother. Let the old Nebula and yourself greet and befriend the new, my lover and mate, Death. Mephisto is but an advisor. But brother Thanos... How can this be a family reunion without father being present? Mentor was not invited, nor will he be. Father was a dangerous man, which is why I made sure he was among the disappeared. He would have tried to abort my, my vision of the future. I could not allow that. 
ultimate power is now mine and I shall reshape the universe with it. Nothing must interfere with this holy mission. Then nothing shall. Everything is going to work out just the way you want it to, my brother. And if there is anything I can do to help... Like using your emotion manipulating powers on me? What say we see how charming you can be, Eros, without your mouth? That is how it shall be with all things that irritate proud Thanos. Annoyances will simply cease to be. Here's the update on the tally of disappeared superheroes. Who you got? You got Windshear, Wasp, Vindicator, U.S. Agent, Thing, Shaman, Cersei, Sasquatch, Marvel Boy, Marvel Girl, Mr. Fantastic, Night Thrasher, North Star, Power Man, Puck, Quicksilver, Car Makari, is that his name? Visible Woman, Iceman, Human Torch, Hercules, Hawkeye, Guardian, Firestar, Archangel, Beast, Black Cat, Black Panther, Fox, Dagger, Daredevil, and Diamond Little. Still no word on the X-Men or Excalibur? No, maybe they're off the planet. Even in the midst of this chaos, I've got... I feel crummy doing this, but... Even in the midst of this chaos, I've got to cover what I'm... To cover that I'm not the original Thor. I fought by the side of many of those fallen. They sh shall be mourned deeply. This is bad. Real bad. Doesn't get any worse. You sure about that, Cap? You absolutely sure? I, Great Odin, didst witness half of my people vanish in the twinkling of an eye. The ceremonial eye patch of sorrow did I immediately dawn. And I did look about to see this catast catastrophe was a universal plague. Which is why I did summon you to Asgard, my fellow Skyfathers. Each of you is the supreme leader of a population of deities and a mighty power in your own right. Zeus of Olympus, the Maya god Itzemna, Osiris of Egypt, the Celtic god Nuada. Says Kapalimpikopa, the Aztec deity, Svarog of Russia. Manitou, an American Indian spirit. My mystic senses do warn that the peril we face is of such immense power that it shall take our combined might to overcome it. I feel the same. Da. Then let it be agreed that we shall face our enemy as a united fighting force and let our foe beware. We are with you, Brother Odin. The sky fall the stand is one! 2,000 light years from Earth. Well, we're here. Now what? Now we wait patiently. Wait for what? For the moment to happen. I'm still cooling my heels in that roach motel, waiting for the boss man to make his grand return from the land of the sleeping bag cocoons. Luckily, I finally found a channel on the boob tube that wasn't obsessed with filling every second of airtime with coverage of the Great Disappearance. Who would have thought this planet capable of such highbrow entertainment? I also like the way they brew their rot gut here. Beers always played a big part in the life of Pip the Troll. Sure, maybe the rest of the universe is going down the tubes, but as long as I have a few, have a good smoke, a few brewskis, and some munchies, my world's okay.
Fortunately, the best parties always end too early. Hey! Gotta hand it to him, though. The guy really knows how to make an entrance. A real showstopper. Okay, Mr. Party Pooper. You fixed it so we can't stay here anymore. Where are we headed now? After Thanos. Terrific. Just what I wanted to hear. At the best of times, the resumption of lost consciousness is a jarring, disorienting experience. But a moment like this... What? It can be devastating. Doctor Strange? Doctor Doom? I warn you, Doom, you meddle in dangerous matters you do not fully understand. Then you shall enlighten me or suffer further discomfort at my servant's hands. Doom, I had my comrade! Or I shall fall victim to a superior intellect and power as you did in our last encounter. Which is exactly what I did, being terribly weakened from my earlier battle with Thanos' stone golem. Further time was needed for my strength to renew itself. Now, Strange, you will brief me on everything you know. The great disappearance and the forces behind it. Or you shall speak, you shall speak or I will. There is no need to threaten anyone, my good doctor. It will be my pleasure to tell you everything you wish to know. Intruder, who are you? My time, many call me Adam Warlock. You may also do so also if you feel so inclined. A man who was supposed to have been killed nearly a decade ago while battling Thanos. Now do you understand, my dear, the pleasures of having family visit? Amusing, aren't they? Mistress Death doesn't appear to think so. Eh? Well, that situation could be easily remedied. New entertainment can be devised. By the heavens, Thanos' newly acquired power has obviously deranged him. He's gone completely insane. In his current state of anything po is possible, he might, at a whim, even destroy the universe. And that is how Thanos gained his vast power and I came to aid the thwarting of his mad schemes. Then you are the cosmic entity I communicated with earlier. An amazing story and a pearl that rivals the coming of the Beyonder. See Secret Wars 2, issue 1, that I did first, Comic Corner, on my YouTube channel. It is a challenge we must meet and triumph over. There is but one way this can be accomplished. I must lead the forces of sanit sanity against the Mad Titan. By what right do you claim this mantle of leadership? A man who was supposed to have been killed nearly a decade ago while battle battling Thanos. Perhaps, but I alone am familiar with the secret workings of the Infinity Gems. That knowledge is the universe's only hope. A banner I will gladly stand behind. What say you, surfer? Tis better than following doom. Then raise your army and we shall see what comes of it. But is Warlock truly the best choice? He seems markedly different from the man I met on the Soul World. There's so little anyone really knows about him. How can we be certain? Is this improvisation more to your liking, my love? What? What does it take to please you? I have given you every wish and the universe to boot, yet you still deny me even the slightest of smiles. I strive only for your affection and approval, 
I would do anything to just once hear you speak my name aloud. I hate that. The Dark God's anger and frustration are awesome in force. A psychic wave of power rises from the stellar monument of love and washes out into the ether. ether. The first heavenly body to encounter the wave is a tw 20 million year old giant red star. Red giant star. Every law of nature revolts against this jewel's continued existence. Its ending is breathtaking. I'm not even going to try and recreate the sound. Yet it is but one of many that will fall before the wrath of Thanos's, Thanos, the supreme being of this universe and reality. A planet I was about to consume crumbles beneath the Titan's rage, the second banquet of which he has cheated me. Yet I keep my anger in check. I have to. For I realize that even my staggering might is nothing compared to the near-infinite power Thanos now wields. But think not that galactic plans to turn tail and run from this upstart demigod. Galactus is a being of power and intellect. Plans must be conceived and alliances formed. Only then may I savor the cold feast of vengeance. The readings on Thanos' destructive psychic emanations are astounding. The wave devastates nearly a quarter of the galaxy. It will, it will only be at 2% of its peak strength when it hits that planet Norrin Rad once talked me out of consuming. The one called Earth. I am lost. Dagger is gone. How can I go on? The truth is I have no reason to. The lady and I were linked in so many ways, two halves of all. I'm better off dead. I can never... What? Oh my, no! Good God! You saved our lives! That's right, lady. But it remains to be seen if I did any real favor. I'm hovering on the edge of space in a specifically constructed Iron Man rig, trying to get some better readings on certain off-planet emergency signal energy signals. I suspect they have something to do with the Great Disappearance. Suddenly, every gauge of the sensor unit redlines. What? The force wave hits me like a runaway train. It shorts every circuit in the suit. Fortunately, my backup system is able to kick in. Then when I see it, from this altitude, it's quite a sight, one that will surely give me nightmares for the rest of my life. Helplessly, I watch as the entire western coast of the United States breaks off and falls into the ocean. I know there's nothing I can do to help, but I have to try. I pick up on an Avengers Quinjet on the way down. We were coming in for a landing when it hit. There was nothing we could do. Nothing. There were millions of people in California alone. They're all gone. We just couldn't save them. It was all of a sudden like the end of the world. There was truly no method available to predict the approach of Thanos' destructive psychic onslaught. How was I to know the devasta how devastating it would prove to be? One moment beautiful Asgard sat peacefully, a jewel in the heavens. A mere moment later, the home of the proud Norse gods was torn asunder. Its spires toppled. The rainbow bridge shattered. Dost thou feel the change? I. It's no simple earthquake. The turmoil has wrought internet dimensional changes. The space time continuum has shifted. We have been cut off from Midgard and its reality. We are trapped on Asgard. 
unable to return and protect our homes. Blame not yourself, my brother. There was no way you could have known. I, I realize this. Yet, still my heart and soul damn me for a fool. I felt the tremors and trace them across the Atlantic Ocean floor to their source. What I discovered was the incredible. Not even I, neighbor, the submariner, had seen such a magnificent sight. But then my awe is tempered by the realization that the creation of these isles will have cataclysmic results. There will be tidal waves probably even now heading toward the eastern coast of the United States. Nemreed is the name. Oh, Nemreed is the name. It's by sheer chance that I'm flying over the Atlantic City. It's early morning, and a young couple walk along the boardwalk alone. Probably honeymooners. They hear the roar, and look up to see approaching death. The wave is nearly a quarter mile high. There'll be no escaping it. She saves them. Trump Plaza done. Young lovers are the only two people I managed to save. Notice that voice changed from male to female in an instant. It's Thor calling Avengers headquarters. You can inform Colonel Fury that the reports he received about the Isles of Japan are confirmed. They are no more. Thank winning it. Winghead for the recon when he returns. I'm an Avengers HQ hold up to the quake. Crack but still standing. Thank God for New York bedrock. We're gearing up to be the command comm center for any paranormals who wish to help during the crisis. Crisis. Not crisis. Good move. I'll spread the word. Out. Vision, what about our West Coast branch? I'm accessing them now, Captain. Wanda, prog progress report? We're setting up house in Vegas, calling in the reserves. Same here. We're going to need all the help we can get. Things are getting pretty ugly out there. It appears... Everyone fared fairly well thanks to Doctor Strange's hastily cast spell of protection. What was that? Obviously an earthquake. Something got God teed off. Exactly. Next, preparations for war. Story's heating up, eh? Ready, aim, punish! Special appearance by Spider-Man. Crime. Stench is everywhere. But now Jigsaw and his band of drug lords would be taught a lesson in justice. Punisher style. Now there's nowhere for them to run and hide. Pack in his M60 machine gun nitro charge grenades and heat-seeking rockets the Punisher will hunt. Them down from the urban New York jungle to the voodoo infested wilds no, of I'm South America, like... destroying everything in an evil in his sight. With Spider Man at his side, hundreds of enemies will be given the ultimate payback. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Electrify your campaign with the Tomb of Magic. Every great priest and wizard knows you've got to keep a few good tricks up your sleeve, and the Tomb of Magic is filled with them. 
Stretching the horizons of every magic user's game, the 152-page tomb contains 86 new magic user spells, 141 new cleric spells, 29 quest spells, and over 90 new magic spells. Thank you for the follow. Now you see it. Now you don't. Better get yours now. The Tomb of Magic is this year's hottest Advanced Dungeons & Dragons game product. Find it at book and hobby stores everywhere. Woo! So that's that. The Infinity Gauntlet 2. Like I said, if you want to catch number one and any past or future issues, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload all of these casts up there. So yeah. Check her out. Check her out. Thanks for the for the follows guys. How's it going? Thank you for being a part of another edition of Comic Corner. Uh tune into next issue, the Infinity Gauntlet number three. Come into this channel, WWG TV on Twitch. Real soon. Time to play some games.